Look at that. We got a cobblestone generator, though. We have endless cobblestone now. Not that that's a rarity in this world, but... Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, JP, and I'm back playing some more Universal Interdimensional Escape today. And, uh, guys, I got... I think I got something kind of fun planned. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how it works. <laughs> Benefits of this are pretty great, I guess, if you say that. <laughs> um, and on, on, on many reasons. But I haven't built one this way. So I played Sky Factory 1.10. I never played Sky Factory 1.7.10. Uh, and so in, in Sky Factory 1.10, once you get to that level, you have a cobblestone generator block. Makes it for you. And this one, though, we got to make the cobblestone generator with the lava and the water and mix it and then have a uh, transfer node with the world interaction upgrade on it. And so that's what we're going to look at doing today, hopefully. And so by making that cobblestone, what I can eventually do then is make more crucibles. I can have water on top, make it, make it into obsidian, bring it out, and then I can put obsidian in the smeltery and I'll have endless obsidian tools. If that's what I wanted to go with, essentially. But then I can also make OB so that we can get to the nether portal as well. So many, many benefits to it, but that's what I want to do this episode. I want to get a cobblestone generator built and set up and running and maybe try and even get it to where it automates cobblestone into a chest for us. So without further ado, let's, let's, let's play some universal interdimensional escape. We're going to start off here. We're going to, we're going to get us some OB and then we're going to need water. Um, I think we're gonna we're gonna build this just a little ways away from the house so I suppose we could go ahead and use this that's already made for us here um, so if we have lava there we want water to be right there and then let's go ahead and close that and close that like that and then we're gonna enclose and close just like that and then, oh, it was exactly 14. Okay. We're gonna put a cobblestone there. Perfect. So this is gonna be a really easy cobblestone generator. We can, we can decorate afterwards for it, but. All right, where's my bucket? Here we go. So let's grab a bucket of lava. If you guys noticed too, I put lava under there. It turned the melting speed, if you see there, where it says 3.0x in the middle there under fluid volume. When you add a torch under it, it was only one. With lava, it's three. So once I had enough lava, I went ahead and put lava underneath it, and it's working great. I uh, I am nowhere upset about it. So uh, now what we want to do... Uh, I need water. I need a block source of water. So we're gonna go to where I know there's some water real fast. That's the ocean. I think there was some back at the village. That's my fault. I screwed that up, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and grab just a bucket. I probably should have made me an endless water source by my base, but that's okay. <laughs> I can do that at any time. That's easy to make. My only fear though is that it better not make Obi. That's all I'm worried about is I'm trying to remember. So if I put the water like that, is it going to drown out the lava? Yep. That's what I was afraid of. Okay. That's what I... All right. I knew it. Okay. So. But if I make... I've got to make that path down further. Okay. That I can do. So let's grab the water bucket since we have lava that's abundant now. Uh, let's let's go. Oh, is my shovel out? Yeah, my shovel's out. Of... So we'll just use my pickaxe. I put some redstone on it too, guys. We got moss oak on it now. I think that's how much water can flow from a source block. I think it might be one block off. Okay. I'm nowhere a Minecraft guru. <laughs> Boom. 
Perfect, I think. Let's see. Yep, beautiful. Okay, perfect. Okay, so then now let's make. Uh, I was right. I was, I was exactly right. That's. Oh man. Yeah, the lava burned my wood. Feels bad, dude. Am I still on fire though? No. <laughs> That's the only downfall to the crucible where it's at. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. Okay. So let's come back over here. Let's see if we have endless cobblestone gen generation. Oh, I need to put the lava one block over. Oh, son of a bear. All right. Because I need it to pour in. <laughs> okay. Let's grab one more source of lava. We might want to put some cobblestone in here to start making us uh, some more lava. I'm screwing this up rather quickly. I can't, I don't need it to be. I can't be the source block. That's so I don't need the water to be that long either. I don't think. I don't remember cobblestone generators needing to be that long. They just needed it. It can't be the lava source block where it meets. Yeah, it can be that long. Hey, it looks cool. But I don't think it has to be. Let's see. It has to put it right there. Oh, okay. It does have to be. Son of a bear. Okay. All right. Well, I guess it's going to be that long. All right. Okay. <laughs> That's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to do it. And then I'm going to put a um, transfer node on top the world interaction and we should hopefully be good hopefully <laughs> all right i'm probably screwing it up somewhere you guys can let me know in the comments below if i screwed this up but we're just gonna leave it long like that sure why not why not Doop. yeah there we go okay all right so that's going that's functional sure why not grab some more cobblestone all right, so now that that's done, we can probably make it to be where that's the, okay. I could probably take this one out, take the cobblestone back, give it some dirt. And hey, in the interim, we got three more obi. So I'm gonna go throw that in the smeltery so I can have repair for my pickaxe. I probably need to make me some more, um, probably need to make me some obi like an OB Matok. If I made an OB Matok, then I don't have to worry about the wood axe or the shovel. Because it'd be, it'd be the best of both worlds. All right, so we're gonna sleep, and then we're going to make up a, um, we're gonna make up a world interaction transfer nude, hopefully, hopefully. Tell me I have enough piping for this stuff. Six, that should be enough. Now, do I have a world? Do I have a transfer node? Tell me I made a transfer node. I could have sworn I made a transfer node. No! Didn't make a transfer node? Biscuits. Okay. It appears that I have no transfer node. Did I? Yeah, I didn't put it over there either. Okay. All right, well, that sucks. <laughs> All right, so we're a little further back than I wanted to be for the episode. I could have swore I had a transfer node, though. Interesting. Okay, well, that's fine, guys. We'll, we're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. It's as simple as doing this. Boom. Transfer. Transfer node. Items. How do I make this thing? Okay. A lot of redstone. Got it. And a chest and stone so i know i have some stone perfect and i need chest do i have enough wood biscuits yeah we're gonna need wood okay i ho i ho it's off to work we go <laughs> so yeah we're gonna need wood i need to make some kind of wood farm <laughs> I need wood. 
need to make a sapling farm kind of thing. All right, this should be plenty to get us going. So look at that. We got a cobblestone generator, though. We have endless cobblestone now. Not that that's a rarity in this world, but Minecraft world anyway. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's make a... We're going to need two chests because I'm going to need a chest to transfer all this stuff into. All right, and then we need redstone, like a lot of redstone. So I need to make a block. And then transfer node. Okay. So there we go. Block of it. Redstone on each side. And a transfer pipe. Nice. All right, we got a transfer node. Sweet deal. So now what we need is a world interaction upgrade. World interaction upgrade. Okay. So four iron and iron pickaxe and four lapis. Okay, I can do that. So grab the iron, grab the lapis, and we're gonna need sticks, which we can do just like this. Boom. Okay. Here we go. Make a pickaxe. Woo! Getting an upgrade, baby. What's up? Man, like that, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, now let's go test this out. I'm hoping this works. Can't say I've really worked with it that much, if ever. Um, so let's go uh, transfer node on top. Boom, like that. And then let's go world interaction. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's pulling cobblestone, baby. What's up? All right. So now what we need to do is put the chest... We'll just put it right there and then we'll say transfer pipe just like that wow that is some fast cobblestone generating too i mean considering that's pretty quick i'm not upset <laughs> guys we have an auto cobblestone generator now if i was to move the water source i put it Okay, it's gonna it's not gonna do it. Okay, so I gotta leave the water source. There it goes. Okay, cool. Alright. We're just gonna leave it. It's making me cobblestone, guys, and a lot of it. So that is awesome. It worked. So now that we found out um, that unfortunately my my wall burned down. We do need some cobblestone to uh, repair so lava will not burn cobblestone so this is gonna have to be cobblestoned just like that yeah looks a little tacky I know but we'll, we'll eventually get this stuff moved over so eventually keyword <laughs> don't hold me to it okay let's go juicer here coal there yep let's put the sticks in there Seriously, I don't have acacia wood stored anywhere. There we go. Okay. So we're going to put the acacia wood there. Okay. Nice. All right. We're moving right along. I need to eat. Tell me I have some steaks or something. I got cooked mutton. That'll work. So I need to get me need to get me some food going, though. Need to go harvest some carrots. We need more juice. I just about ate through a whole stack of mutton. <laughs> no, just kidding. Was nowhere close to a stack but we probably need us some carrots yeah and there we go okay now how about over here i believe there was some carrots over here yeah perfect Yeah, you guys just stay in your watery place there. And then we can get some more baked potatoes. So the advantage of having this endless cobblestone generator is now I can bring cobblestone out. We can sieve it. We can get items that will allow us to essentially not have to mine. Um, and that's, that's the cool part, guys. Is... Uh, 
Uh, we can literally sieve for items if we so choose to now. So that's that was the other advantage and reason I wanted to get the endless cobblestone. So I can set up sieving and then we can set up just generating pretty much from ex nilo um, the stuff we want. Well, at least cobblestone wise. Yeah, because then I can I can crush it with a hammer, make sand, gravel. Uh, so cobblestone is the basis of all that. It should still be, I think. We'll see. Can I make potato juice? Nope. Okay. Boom. There we go. So poisonous potato. We might as well hold on to it just in case we need one. And then the juicer, we're going to swap places. And then we are going to bake our potatoes. Let's go ahead and grab a lava bucket. Let's give that some power. Free energy, baby. <laughs> Just at the expense of cobblestone. So, no worries there. So we're going to stack that up. That'll get us some more lava. And then what I'm going to eventually do is get lava going and then try and build a tank and store lava. So that we just have an abundance of it. And then we can use that for our smeltery, for our power generation right now. Uh, it's going to work out great. It's going to be amazing. Am I generating or am I dead even? Yeah, we're, we're dead even. So it's not going to lower my... So, perfect. It's going to cook all my potatoes for me. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was our beautiful cobblestone generator. Look at this. We probably have a full chest. Oh, no, not quite, but close. That's awesome. Well, you can upgrade that to like a diamond chest too, and it'll have a lot of storage. I mean, we'll have a lot of cobblestone available. So, and then you can always put speed upgrades on the world interaction. And it just makes it faster. So, <laughs> as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider smashing that like button. And as always, guys, I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in another one. Take care. Goodbye.